Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Wrath of the Righteous. We just finished the uh, retaking of Dresden, and now we're pretty much into the next act. I think it's be, I don't know, Act 3? There's not really officially a break per se, but how people kind of like to break it down, I guess. Uh, but anyway, uh, so I did some things off camera. Mostly uh, crusade stuff. Uh, my armies are still uh, scattered. I condensed some others down in, into as, uh, as well. So I think number three is going to be pretty much my base garrison. I just built this one, so I haven't really done anything with it yet. And of course, I still got my first two that I, I got that I composed of uh, back when I still had free reign. And wasn't trying to build a base. Speaking of trying to build a bases... Go to here. So I've gone ahead and built some things, although they're still very much under construction. But as you can see, I've built a lot of things. I've got a Hall of Strategy, a Society Lodge, Hall of Glory, a Merc Guild, and a Watchtower. Another Watchtower over here, a couple of them, just because. Help out with defense. So a hospital. Those are already built, but we know about this. I'm building a citadel. A teleportation circle, which I think is really important for later. Because you just don't see that with otherwise. You didn't even get those until pretty much later in Kingmaker anyway. You got a military academy to train up officers. And... Yeah, shelter and a sanctuary and a hospital. Kind of... All in close proximity, but anyway, that's that nonsense. So I still got that being built. Oh, that was the other thing. I went ahead and made a slight change to kind of decrease the risk of suddenly mucking it up so bad that um, I would get an automatic game over because I can't hold things together. Uh, and that is I cut the uh, development and decree time down by half. Uh, that might be a change that if you're more of a purist you probably won't like, but... Yeah, I am not interested in getting to all the way through most of the game and just suddenly having it fail and I can't go back and save because I, you know, my, my, I saved over the last point of no return, basically. Alright, but anyway. I guess now, for the moment, I have two units that I can't move because they're out of movement. So I am going to have to probably rest. And let's just do that so I can get that back. Assimilation training. Sun is not dangerous land. It will not bring your skin. It will not blind you to look at. Love the sun. Sun is good. <laughs> Okay. I don't know why this still matters other than maybe the craft scrolls or something, but... What's this? Okay. Day three, month Lamashtan, year 1745. Uh, 4715. Wow, I got that way backwards. <laughs> anyway. Dreams have puzzled the minds of mortals since ancient times. Strangely, the most obvious explanation of the mystery of dreams has appeared quite recently. 
The most obvious, but obviously wrong one, is the dreams that are the delirium of the tired mind as they digest the day's events. Ancient humans are much smarter than they thought dreams were messages of good patrons, or the opposite, the inner divisions of demonic powers. In this case, both hypotheses are correct, illogical as that may be. The commander is asleep. In his anxious dreams, he sees bloodstained stones, smoking torches, rusty chains, and bars. Once again, he is in the, day in the dungeon of his resident, chained in a cell. Huge demons lumber around, clawing at the filthy walls with a horrifying sound. Death in their fanged jaws seemed imminent, but more painful still is the expectation of torches that never begin. Unable to move, barely conscious, and in a horrible semi-delirium, the commander... Okay. The sacred words disappear into the void like stones down a well. It's unlikely they reach the ears of any deity. The fever of endless expectation is broken by a whisper, a gentle breath of fresh air in the stifling darkness. The ruby eyes of a demon has peered at the commander through the bars. She is similar to the other creatures of the abyss, but also entirely dissimilar. Remember me? I am Arshale. Oh, Arushale. Arushale. Okay. You gave me the gift of freedom. Now I will set you free. The chains holding the commander's body crumble to dust. The dark visitor takes a step towards him, passing through the bars as easily as they were made of paper and holds out her hand. Fly with me. In response, the commander can only mumble, let's fly. <laughs> the succubus bursts out laughing. The de dungeon disappears. Now the demoness and the commander are flying over a moonlit plain. Enemies are hunting. Demons that have somehow acquired the usual powers that are unprecedented among common demons. You are also hunting them. You are trying to figure out who is sending them and where the source of their power lies. I will show you where to find the answer. A finger with a manicure claw points down to a cliff top where stands an ancient forge slowly crumbling to dust. A bell without a tongue, an insane crone, make it speak once more and she won't be able to keep her silence either. She will give you all the answers. Okay. Wake up and try to understand. Oh, I've got a quest. The images fade. The commander opens his eyes and whispers a word. Unknown, alien, brought by the passing dream. Green Gates. The name of a fortress. If the demoness is to believe, what a curious notion. There is a strange crone hiding there who knows where the demons with these unheard of abilities are coming from. It will be intriguing to learn who this crone is, what she knows, and whether this dream is but a trick to kill the commander, the commander into another trap. But we cannot find out without visiting the place from the dream. Green Gates has been revealed. Okay. Oh. Well then. Green Gates is there, and I apparently need, need to go here. I got a demon army in the way. get any points back for movement all right well, let me check out the shallow grave here
the level five demon army that might be a bit <laughs> a bit much for even for a bunch of like what was I tenth level now yeah tenth level crusaders wow. Magician's ring. Look at this fugly dude. The lake lost to the sun. Unavoidable drill. Some sort of pick. That's right, I need to come here to Grimwood too. I've got a dragon to kill. All the way out in the wound. The heart of mystery. These things ever move? No survivors. Clear the wound. Purge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not going to do any damage. Didn't even lose anybody. That's right, Ember was killed. I didn't get her in my run. Uh, defeating the horde of flying monsters swooping from the sky, many crusaders got thinking that the battle tactics they know are not always suited to demon confrontation. With every new battle and armor gains an invaluable experience, the soldiers are eager to learn from their, for their lives depend on it. Well, yeah. Alright, well, I've punched a way through the green gates.
Wow, look at all this. Labrazoo, huh? Cory as fuck. Those guys back up. Yikes. Already one back. Unfortunately, I'm going to have some casualties from this one. Rangers, I guess. Cheese. I lost over a hundred archers on this. Ouch. The army of Baffin been called to the gate of foothold in Green Gates has been defeated and head of the army scouts at rush to the half to destroy fort looking villagely for ambushes and traps. Okay. 
Well. I need to go back and lick my wounds. <laughs> Out of movement again. By the way, did you know that the amount of money in an individual's possession is directly proportional to the number of secrets that individual is hiding? A most intriguing observation. I say, let's try to guess the secrets my cousin Galfrey is hiding. <laughs> Middle game. Okay. I guess some of my constructions are, com are starting to complete. Once they increase uh, by two, cool. Don't really have to worry about morale. Say anything changed here. I think most of the buildings I put up were going to be done in a couple days. Yeah, pretty much everything. So I still have some spaces for later for case I need something. I think the only thing I didn't build was an engineer's workshop. Yes, I mean to go buy Dresden, but okay. Okay.
I'm not sure how to get to here. I got Sila. Oh, come on. Is there anything in this place still we have to worry about? Doesn't seem that way. Got to sell all the loot that picked up along the way here. For it's been a been a bit. Well, shoot. Shrine of Sacrilege. Plagued horses. That's a big time victory. Having buried those who died from the plague, warriors search the place and find a small grave where Sir Dolan Regilor, hero of the Second Crusade, rests in peace. To take care of his grave and clean dead bodies endure from the small oasis nearby, and the water instantly becomes clean, clear, and sweet. This place is much loved by spirits and gods. Okay.
take them out. Uh, those are problematic. I don't know what those things were, but okay. Attack out of nowhere. Discover stone maze and molten scar. Nevia wants to talk. Uh oh. Quartermasters brought cats to Dresden so they could keep the stores safe from rats. Smaller demons have been learned to assume the form of cats to sneak into the city and wreak havoc. Soldiers are ready to start hunting cats, but the quartermasters are against it. Huh. What is Bastet?
So Sil remembered the cult of Vestat, poorly known in Avistan, and sent a few letters to Osiria, and the priestesses of goddess of cats are willing to identify the demons and remain to care for the cats. Their knowledge of divine rituals will prove useful to the crusade. Okay. <laughs> So many damn deities in Galarian, uh, I don't know what to make of any of it. This really thinks I should do this. Should do other. Should do this too, as soon as I can. It's got a long time. Anyway, continuing to water sun, I guess. surprised an odious little lordling like yourself hasn't earned himself a swath of serious enemies only people who do things earn themselves enemies whereas i for the most part simply enjoy myself oh, my corruption has gone up Plants withered from an unknown disease?
Hmm. Alright, well, I've had a thought about it. I think I'm going to break episode on this one just to kind of... You know, uh, it's a good stopping point, so <laughs> just kind of do it. So thank you very much for watching. I will go ahead and continue on, keep playing a few more um, segments and see how where we get. But for now, this one's going to end, and I'll catch you in the next one.